this Keith? Hello, Keith. Who's this? Oh, oh this is uh, Brad. I live over here on the yeah. first. And uh, one of the, the, the neighbors, they have, like, they've converted their entire living room into a swimming pool. And I just wanted to make sure. Who sh- is I'm, that? What uh, number? Number four. I just wanted to make sure we could do it as well, because it's oh, kind of like a neat idea. Number and, four has not done that. Number four is vacant. Are they, are they, well, I'm in number two. They're, like, right above me. Nobody's above number two at 1605. You guys are on the top floor. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, That's what I'm saying. I'm above yeah, them. So the, the floor below you is vacant. Number three and four are both vacant. No, they've got a pool in there. I was just in there last night. Well, forget that part. That doesn't you're matter. I just wanted to make sure, like, we're well, going to go. It does matter. We're, we're... It, it does matter because uh, because uh, those apartments are vacant below you. 1605 first. I'm thinking of the right building, right? Yeah, the yeah. green apartments right on first. Yep, the green ones. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that to our apartment. We're going to, like. Uh, no, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, we def- you can't have a pool inside. You cannot have a pool inside it's, your apartment. It's not a pool. It's not a pool. We we're, we've put plastic on the walls and on the floor, and we're going to fill it up with with water. I'll come down. I want to so, see what you guys are thinking of doing. No, no, we're no. We, we can't come over right now. We're kind of busy. We're not dressed. I'm just saying. If we're, I catch that you guys are filling that house up with water. You know how much liability is there? I'm just going to give you a heads up right now. You know how much liability is with that? Well, you can't. If that place floods, if that place floods, you are liable. Oh, I don't think so. I don't even have renter's insurance. I don't have to pay anything. I could care less if you have renter's insurance or not. You are going to flood an apartment. No, I'm not going to flood it. I will sue you for everything and your co-signer. No pools in the house. No, it's not a pool in the house. The house is a pool. Like we're turning the living the room. The house into, is not a pool. It's gonna be once I'm we fill it you up. Right now, no, it is not. I don't see what your problem is. I mean, you can't tell us what to do in you our own house. You don't make you don't make a house a pool. That's not what a house is designed for. You don't put plastic on the inside of the walls. It's not and fill it up with water. It's not even to touch ever the walls. Does that. It's not going to touch the walls because we're going to have the plastic up. So no. it's, it's not going to damage your property. I mean, I'm going to write a letter right now and tell you that we had this conversation, and the answer is no. I, why are you going to write me a letter? We had a conversation. That's retarded. Why is like, that? Because you're you're telling me you're going to do it anyway. The answer is no. I wasn't calling to ask permission. I just wanted to find out if it would, like, you guys pay for the water, right? Yes. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Because we that would be too expensive for us to to fill up. Okay. All right, this conversation's over, and I'll have a letter there in five minutes. Why is the conversation still going on if it's over? I mean, we're still talking to each other. You know, well, you know, you cannot put water inside of an apartment, period. We, the water already, belongs in the sinks, in the tub, and in the toilet. That's it. And, and in the pool that we put in the living room. Negative. The, pl- the plastic. We've moved all the furniture no. out. The furniture is not going to have any damage. No. Hey, look, the conversation's not over. We're still talking. Isn't that weird? You know what? You know what? Here you go. If I catch it in there, I'll evict you. Oh, well, if you, there's water you, you damage can't in that apartment, in. you're liable. You I can't, care less if you have renter's insurance or not. You can't come in. You're, we're not letting you in the house, so you're not going to see shit. I'll be shit. in your house in 48 hours. No, Goodbye. you will not. You, will, you are not allowed to come in. I have a 48-hour notice by law, all I have to do, and oh, I that, will be in is, your apartment that is 48 hours. bullshit. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, I do. You, I do know what I'm talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. the state law. No. The state law is 48 hours. You need to read up. I, I Googled it. It's not a state law. <laughs> yeah, you can Google all you want. I'll be in your house in 48 hours. You will not. I'm not answering the door. We're changing the locks. You change the locks, and I'll bust it in. Oh no! You can't do I'll that. That's illegal. Come in your that, house. That's illegal searches. It, um, I watch. It is not. Yes, it is. You don't know what you're it's talking not about. Illegal. Oh okay, my god! You're goodbye. so stupid. What is it? Uh, goodbye. You're an idiot. You're such an idiot. Yeah, you're the idiot. Goodbye. No, you're the idiot. Hey everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show for November 7th, 2016. Today's show is sponsored by a guy named Luda X Factor. 
I think that's how I have to say it. There's three O's in it, or possibly a O and a zero and another O, or maybe it's just capitalized. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure this guy's a hacker, but Luda X Factor, he's uh, the sponsor of today's show. Thanks for being a supporter of the show, Luda X Factor. I have breaking news today from a guy named uh, Dadulus. I forget where he sent this to me, probably in a comment somewhere, but breaking news, everyone. The Big Bamboo Dockside Grill has closed forever, apparently. You guys remember the Big Bamboo Dockside Grill, right? It's a grill place from Salina, Ohio. We did a Facebook mob on them, and I think we uh, prank called them a few times, or I did anyway. And they're gone forever, I think, probably as a result of our prank calls. People have been updating me for some reason. I don't know why you guys care about this place in particular. I don't even remember the prank that happened to them there, but apparently you guys do. Because I've been getting regular updates about the Big Bamboo Dockside Grill ever since we did that stuff. And I usually ignore the updates. I don't announce them because I don't want you guys to keep bothering them. But apparently that didn't matter because you guys have bothered them out of business. I know they, uh, they switched owners for a while. They had new owners. And I'm guessing what happened is the new owners were like, Oh, fuck all this this crazy prank call snowplow show shit happening to us. How are we expected to run a business with all this stuff happening? So that's my guess. That's probably why they went out of business. So rest in peace, Big Bamboo Dockside Grill. Thank you for providing a day of entertainment for me and some of my listeners, and apparently years of entertainment for certain other people, like the Doulas. Do you guys happen to remember a prank call I did? It was a Tenants from Hell, and the YouTube video is from August of 2014. And it's one of those calls I made to a landlord, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a tenant of yours, and I turned my entire apartment into a swimming pool. You know, I put up plastic around the floor and the walls, filled it up with water, and I posted this video back in 2014, and it's gotten a normal amount of views and comments, just like the rest of my videos. I mean, you know, normal as far as my videos go. But for some reason, this one video, the one titled A House Is Not A Pool, I haven't even listened to this one in a long time, I don't remember what it's like, and I'm too lazy to listen to it because it's like seven minutes long. Anyway, the reason I'm talking about this is because suddenly that video is getting a shitload of hits and a shitload of comments. It's up to 56,000 views right now, where most of my videos get, I don't know, what, like 5,000 tops? But all of a sudden, this one's getting a lot of attention from people who have no idea what PLA is or what the Snowplow Show is, which is cool, you know? I get more subscribers and stuff, so that's nice. But the best part is that these people, they just, they don't realize it's a prank. So the comments are are just hysterical. And for several weeks now, I've been reading these comments, like uh, the latest one, eight hours ago, from a girl named Firecracker. She quotes the part where I say, don't tell me what to do in my own house. And then she says, if you're a tenant in someone else's apartment, it's their apartment. You're just paying to live there. And that's what every one of these comments are. They're basically all telling me what an idiot I am for not understanding tenant and landlord laws. Like, here's one from someone named Catherine. She says, pay for your own house, then fill your own house up with water. See if you feel the same then damaging your own paid for house, idiot. She sure told me. Uh, Here's one from Diego three months ago. The guy who's filling up his house is a fucking idiot. Then there's this guy here, Sleuth Chipperson. His name is Sleuth Chipperson. And he's saying fake. The, The call is fake. He called me out for being fake. What a sleuth. Maybe he's just being sarcastic. I'm not sure. Oh, and here's a good one from a guy named V. Putin. He says, great screen name because this asshole making the call is a real loser. Because he has nothing better to do. There's like nine replies to it from people. And it's just a bunch of really dumb arguments. And if you guys want to go have fun with these people, you should get on YouTube and search for a video called Tenants from Hell, A House is Not a Pool. That's the title of the whole video. Tenants from Hell, A House is Not a Pool. And look at the most recent comments and just reply to those people. They, they, they trigger easily. And none of them seem to realize that a channel called the Phone Losers of America is a prank call channel. And I've been trolling them a little bit, not too much. I've replied to a few comments. But if you're bored and you want something to do, I'll put a link in the show notes. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that prank call on the beginning of today's show. I just decided that, so that's why you don't hear me mention it earlier. But the prank call you heard at the very beginning of today's show, that was the house is not a pool prank. Oh, and I think the reason I'm getting so many hits, it's kind of hard to tell with YouTube's analytics stuff, but I think it's a video from an actual landlord, and he uses the term tenants from hell. You know, it's one of those videos where a landlord walks through the apartment with a video camera, showing everyone how much the tenants destroyed his property. I think uh, that's getting a lot 
lot of hits, and every time they watch his, mine's recommended or something like that. So, LOL, funny commenters on that video. Go talk to him, have some fun. Anyway, today's show is a live show that happened on Friday. This was a pre show to XYZ's live show that he does every Friday. And I think I only did maybe an hour and 10 or 15 minutes on this show, but then I cut a bunch of it out, so I don't know how long it is. But this was a audio-only show on Friday, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Hi, everybody. This is RBCP. We're doing a live show today. It's going to be a very short live show because XYZ starts in approximately one hour and six minutes. So until then, I'm going to be calling um, another list that was sent to me by... Um, you guys remember when I did the uh, the Women in Business directory? I forget what that was called exactly, but it was a bunch of business women. Um, that was from a guy named Jasper Flax. He says, hey, RB Jasper Flax here, scouring the interwebs, trying to get more lists that you can use for your roofing calls, home addresses, and work numbers. I found a few good ones. I'm attaching them. I can't wait to see how it goes. And he attached four directories, and so far I've only called one, which was the Women's directory. And I can't remember how those went, actually. Maybe you guys remember. But there's four directories here. I'm going to do the next one on the list. Uh, it's called a Laity directory. L-A-I-T-Y. And I had to look that up because I'm uneducated. Hold on, let me, let me type it in again. We're going to learn things together here real quick. L-A-I-T-Y. It's like a layman's directory, basically. Um... Lay people as distinct from the clergy. Ordinary people as distinct from professionals or experts. Um, and the directory, it doesn't really say, you know, what it's about. Like, why are they a directory full of lay people? Maybe that means they're going to be less likely to be out. You know, out doing things and they'll probably be home and none of these will work. But I'm going to try it. Today we're broadcasting on Shoutcast and uh, The Mixler only. We're not doing any video stuff. I've been uh, sick for a few days, and I took a shitload of NyQuil last night to get some sleep, and I got 10 hours of sleep, but now I just feel like kind of drugged or something. So I'm not feeling too great. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to be too much on top of my game. Just a warning, you guys. Just so you know. So if I fuck up, it's not my fault. It's it's my uh, mild cold's fault feel much better today than yesterday though so that's a good thing so in this directory I've got um, work numbers, home numbers fax numbers for some reason and email addresses probably use those to look up their Facebooks if I want to you have reached to the United Methodist Church oh, okay So far, not going too great. I've got the Mixler chat on today, so I'm actually... There is a chat room. I'm watching it. It's the one at Mixler.com slash phone losers if anyone wants to join. I'll probably regret putting up the chat room. I usually do. But we'll see how it goes. It'll probably be the last time ever. Okay, I'm just going to skip through the list, and I'm only going to call um, work numbers. But we're not going to do roofs today, by the way. I have a, I have a better plan than that. I'm, I'm no longer from Royco Roofing. Uh, now I'm from, uh, oh, I don't know. What would it, what would it be called? I, I, wanna, I have chainsaws, okay? Here, I've, I've got chainsaw sound effects. I, I want to cut down the trees in their yard. I want to be cutting down all their trees. Holy shit, where's the chainsaw noise? Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I've got two separate sound effects for that, so that should be fun. Cut down some trees, cut down some historic trees. I really should find a city that has a bunch of historic trees, like, you know, 200-year-old trees. See how that goes. Pork Chop says I should be Chainsaws or Us. Roy's Mobile Milling from the number three. Next, we're going to try and talk, talk to Jim. Oh, he lives in a P.O. box. Damn it. I, I, I'm not going to have his address. What the... Paranoid jerk. Hey, there. Is Jim around? I mean, is Jim around? 
Is who around? Jim Brown. You know Jim? Jim, yes. Is he Brown? Uh, can I tell him? I'm sorry. Can I tell him who's calling? It's uh, Roy from Royco uh, Tree Service. It is Roy? Yep, from Roy's from Roy. Tree. We're at his house right now, chopping down his trees. Okay. You're just, okay. Hold oh, on. Oh, oh, there's somebody let, in his office, but I think it's possibly. Okay. Just Get this chainsaw going here. Oh my god. Uh, uh, someone named Prank Call Nation in the chat room wants me to say my cat went up his tree. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Jim? Yes. Oh, hey, uh, sorry to call you here at work. Um, we're, we're, we're at your house right now. This is Roy from the Royco Tree Service. We're uh, taking down your tree today. What tree? The, the one in your yard? Like, all of them. And uh, I just wanted to find out, like... Well, a cat went whoa, up. Whoa, okay, whoa. Sh- shut up. Sh- okay, what? You're not supposed to be at my house taking anything down. Oh, yeah. We're taking down the trees. You're in, you, you didn't order, you didn't call the tree service, Roy's tree service? No. Oh, okay. I was going to ask, like, a cat went up one of the trees. We wanted to find out if it was your cat or if we should just go ahead and chop it down with the cat up in there. Well, okay. What? Whatever's going on, what's, what's the joke? But joke? What are you talking about, joke? Well, if you're at my house, I got a 45 right here. Uh-huh. And I'm fixing to it and be at my house. Oh, no, don't threaten me, motherfucker. And if, and if we, you're there... Look, we have a contract, okay? You, you signed a contract. I, you don't have anything signed with me at all. No, you, you signed a... You, we have your signature here. You said you wanted to take down all the trees in your yard. So don't, don't threaten to shoot me just because I'm doing my job. Doing what you ask. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He hung up. Hello, Jim? Jim? Huh, okay. He didn't actually hang up, but I heard him kind of slam down the phone. First office. Hello, is Jim around? Um, no, he just had to run and do some errands. May I take a message? Yes, could you let him know that Roy called and I have a message for him? Okay, does um does he know what Yeah, it's the tree service. We're taking down his trees today in his yard. He had us. Okay. Um okay. Um does he have a number for you? Yeah, he does. I just have a message to pass along to him. Okay. Uh the message is D- try and uh, write down how you think that would be spelled like this. I'm sorry, I can't hear you because every time you're talking, it sounds like there's a machine on. Oh, that's chainsaws. That's the message. I want you to um, write down the chainsaw sound effect. Like, I, I don't know how that would be spelled. Like, like B R L L W Q. You know, like that. Just dear Jim, chainsaw sounds, and then Roy. Okay. Okay. Got it? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Okay. There's a lot of echoing happened on that line. All right, let me cross them out. I'm glad he didn't ask the address because he didn't have an address on here. It's just a P.O. box. <laughs> the tree has to come down due to the Zika virus. It's from Wiznox. All right. Andy's going to lose his tree. I probably should be calling rich people, because I think rich people would probably be more into their trees. They cut down all the trees in my yard, like, this past summer, and I didn't complain. I didn't give a shit. I just had to go buy curtains. Ah, it's the fax line. Fuck. Okay. Hello? Hello, hello, Rick? Yeah. Hey, Rick, it's uh, Roy from uh, Roy's Tree Service. And um, we're Roy's Tree Service? Yeah, you're not home right now, are you? We were knocking on the door, we couldn't get anyone to answer. No, okay. uh, I'm not at the moment. Okay, well, um, we're cutting down your trees today, and uh, a cat ran up one of these trees. I was wondering, is that your cat, or can we just go ahead and let it fall with the cat up there? If it's not your cat, it probably didn't matter. Well, uh, I tell you what, you, you may have the wrong person. 
Oh no, this is for you. Um, yeah, Rick. Who, who? Rick, Rick Barkley. We're um, we're we're uh, cu cutting down the trees in your yard today. No, no, no. You're not supposed to be cutting down any trees in my yard. Oh, well, you signed a contract here. Um, it said that the your trees were were too tall or something. Or exceeding. Five. No, 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 no. You you don't cut anything down. Oh, we've already started. We, we, they're, they're cutting they're them down. They're not cut anything down. Well, they've, they've already, they're already cutting down a bunch of trees, like all the trees. We, we, we just got one left to go, but the cat ran up that one, so that's why I'm calling you. Who, who is this? Uh, my name is Roy from uh, Roy's Tree Service. What, what's your last name, Roy? Zerbel. What, what, where's your business out of? Uh, we're here in uh, Groover. Where, where's your office out of? Why, why, why do you need to know that? I mean, you were here, weren't you? You came and signed a contract? No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Because I mean, we, we, we did this like a month ago, and today was a scheduled date. No. You weren't even here. No. You, you're, no. You're supposed to be here to give us directions, but we're just winging it. We're just cutting down all the trees, except this one with the cat in it, but... Is that your cat? It's kind of a yellowish cat, or is that just a neighbor's cat? Because we could just go ahead and let it, Roy, let it Roy, fall out or die or whatever. You, you need to let you need you need to level with me because I'm going to call my neighbor and he's going to come down there to you. Oh, okay. Well, will, will he be? Able, do you think it's his cat? Like, will he be able to tell us whose cat it is? Because we can see it up there. He's kind of just looking at us, like he's taunting us, and I'm I'm about ready to Roy, just chop, Roy, chop Roy. off the tree at the very bottom and let him die. Roy. Give, give give me a. Who are you? Are you the owner of the business? Yeah, yeah. Roy's Tree Service. Fifteen years in business Roy's now. And where's your office? Uh, we're we're over here on Salina Avenue. Where at? Oh, uh, hold on. I can barely hear you over the chainsaw. One second. Shut. Let, let me walk. Roy, over. shut your chainsaws off. Oh no, that's my work. That's my work crew. I'm just walking away from him. I had to walk past him and. I'm walking down the street Roy, so I can Roy, hear you. I'm getting ready to call the 911 and have the sheriff come out. There. Oh, that'd be silly. That's a, an abuse of the 911 system because it's not an emergency. Well, I, I'm, I'm for getting, emergency. it is an emergency if, if you're if you're trespassing and tearing up my property. Well, no, we have a contract. I'm just saying, if you need to call the police, you should call the local non-emergency line because 911s for emergencies. Is, this is not emergency. No one's dying. No one's getting killed. Your name is Roy. What was your last name? Zerbel. Zerbel. Yeah, Z, like spelled with Z H. Common spelling with Z H though. And and you you just showed up at my house to cut down the trees. Yeah, because you signed a contract. To, to I never any, signed any contract. Then why are we cutting down your trees then? Is this a prank or something? As far as I'm concerned, yes, something's gone really bad. Okay, well, you know, you still have to pay for this. No, you're, you're going to be paying for it, oh, cowboy. No, you're you're going to be paying for it, chief. All right, I've I've had about enough. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Bye. are you going to call your neighbor or are you going to call the non-emergency police? Okay, he's gone. Am, am I required uh, by the prank call rules to call him back and uh, let him know he's been butt slammed? I need a vote in the chat room. Please uh, type the word butt slammed if I should butt slam this guy to, to keep him from calling the authorities on me. Okay, there, there's one vote for butt slammed. I'm doing it. Your call has been ah, forwarded shit. to an automatic voice. He's on the phone with his neighbor. Probably not the police, just his neighbor, that's all. Your call has been shit. forwarded to an... Your call has been forwarded to an automatic huh. voice message. Straight to voicemail. He must be dialing. He's probably like a really slow dialer. Oh, wait, is that how that works? No, that's not how that works. He's probably ringing the whole time. He's ringing, his, ringing his neighbor. That's what, what it was. Your call has been forwarded Shit. to an automatic... All right, one, one more try. You gotta let Rick in on the joke. Your call has been... Let me call him from my New York number. He's probably going to look at his phone. He's going to be like, New York City! He won't answer, because it's New York City. 
Ah, shit. I just... Your call has been forwarded to an oh, automatic sh- voice. Come on. Come on, Rick. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic Okay, I tried. Did what I could. Tried to butt slam the guy. But no. It's weird that that's the second guy with a P.O. box that has not asked me what address I'm at. It's kind of convenient. I hope you guys don't mind, but I just suddenly had this urge to play a, a, just one song, just a short song. It's a song that I think uh, for this show everyone needs to hear. Just, just you know, while I, while I look through the list. Just, you know, play this song. It's enough of that. Holy crap. I didn't play that song because it's good. I played it because it has a chainsaw solo in it. And I got to watch the video for that entire thing, which I've never seen before. I haven't heard that song since about 92. They actually played that on the radio. Pretty sure that's what killed rock music. Thank God. Okay, so it looks like we're calling uh, Keith. Keith at work, maybe. You guys need to watch the video for that. He, he has a chainsaw on stage. And he, he, like, cuts through his chair and stuff. Tiger Eye wants me to fax card. Hello, guys. See, this is Rita. Hello, is Luann there? I'm sorry. Luann. Luann, Lu- as in Luann Black. Yeah. Don't be racist, though. No. She is a retired uh, teacher that subs for us, but oh. she's not here today. Oh shit! Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try her cell then. Okay. Do you, Do you need me to give her a message? What'd you put me on speaker for? Her daughter is here, so you can talk to her. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Why'd you put me on speaker? I have 36 minutes, you guys, to, to get at least one, one more answer. Damn Jasper Flax sending me this crappy list. People that don't pick up. Randy. Randy's going to pick up. I love that that first guy rushed. <laughs> he like just ran out of his office. Went home. I should call him up at home right now. Ah. Every time a fax machine picks up, a listener loses his headphones. I'm sorry, listeners. First United Methodist Church. Hello, is Corey available? No, he's not here today. This is his day off. Can I take a message? Oh, I see. Would he be at work then, you think? Or probably at home? I can just call him at home. Yeah, if you have his cell number, I can't give it out, but if you have it, that'd be the best number to reach him. Okay. Do you know if he's working today, or is he at home? No, this is work. This oh. is his office, and Ooh. he's not here today. <laughs> okay, well, shit. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll try back. Yeah, I'll try his home then. Thanks. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I loved her hang-up. That was great. So all these people work at churches, it seems like. So if I get a hold of someone, I'm calling a church. I don't know if this is good for, uh... I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Let me look at something else here. <laughs> I love calling up churches and using the S word. Okay. We're gonna try... Oh, wait, hold on. One second, one second. Seven, oh, three. Okay, we gotta change my number here real quick. Let me give me a new area code. For the second half of the show, I want to do the same thing. Uh, I'm just going to call people off of the soccer directory. I don't know what to say to soccer people anyway. These are um, managers of soccer teams. And I don't know, I assume it's kids teams. All these people are co-managers, managers, managers, presidents, co-chair. I didn't know soccer teams were this complicated. Finance manager, technical director... Travel Director of Coaching, Registrar, wow, those are some crazy titles, okay, so, this guy's name is Carson, that sounds like someone that would be upset about his tree. Hello? Hello, is Carson available? 
this is she. Oh, hey, Carson. Uh, this is Roy from Royco Tree Service. And uh, we're taking the uh-huh. tr- trees down at your house today. And uh, I just wanted to find out um, this cat ran up the tree. Is that your cat? Are you sure you're talking to the right, right person? Oh, maybe. I, I don't know. You said this is Carson? On, on Utah? Yeah, but Utah. Nobody, is, nobody is on my street. I'm sitting in my driveway. And yeah, we're, nobody. We're getting ready to come over is what I'm saying. We're going to be cutting down your trees today. I don't know anything but about that. We, we tried to do it yesterday and there was a cat. So we couldn't start because there was a cat up there. But we're just going to be, um, you know, we're just chopping down your Who tree. Who hired you? Uh, well, the name on here is Carson. They filled out the form online. I did not fill out anything about a tree being cut down. Oh, well... I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, well, we're going to be there next. Uh, are you going to be there for a while? We just... Maybe your husband did it or something? We, we just... Uh, we need. To- I can call him, but he's at work. I don't... It's, sometimes it's hard to get a hold of him. Ah, balls. Yeah, I don't know. We just... We have to cut down your tree. It's in, it's in the contract. Once the contract's signed, there's no going back. The plan is kind of set into motion, and it's just... But what you know, tree? Uh, all of them. What the fuck are you talking about? Tre- I have like all these trees in my yard. You're not cutting down all my trees. Well, yeah, we're just. I have no idea what you're talking about. The, um, it says here on the form that the city said they were getting too tall, they were above the legal limit, and they were supposed to be chopped down. We we're supposed to do. Who it. said that? The city? Well, that's what it says here on the work form that was signed by Car- Carson. No, I did not sign any work form. I guarantee you. No, you you filled it out online. Maybe you were drunk while you did I it. I never something. filled a. I never filled out a tree service form at all. M- maybe you were just drunk and you don't remember because it it's definitely has your name on it and signed. Is this a, a joke? No, it's not a joke, ma'am. We're, we're just we're on our. No, I'm not drunk filling out forms. Okay, well I don't know. I don't know. You what's sound the name, drunk. What's the name of the tree service? Royco Tree Service. What do you mean I sound? What do you mean I sounded drunk? Oh, I think maybe you misunderstood me. I I would never say something like that. You just said it. No, I I you think never you never even talked to me before. You misunderstood. I just meant currently. You kind of sound a little bit inebriated. No, I'm pissed. Oh, that's the difference. Okay, all right. Sorry. What's the name of this fucking company? Well, I, I think only a drunk person would, you know, say the fucking word to me when I'm just trying to do business here. Uh, you're you're not doing business very well when you call someone and tell them you're going to cut down all their trees. Okay, well... And um, they don't know anything about it. Well, you should know something about it if you filled out the form, and you have to pay for it. Well, like I this, didn't fill out the form. This online I'm contract. I'm not paying for anything. It's legally binding online contract thing here, and... We're going to be talking. Uh, that, I didn't, that I'm telling you I didn't fill out. So we, it's not legally binding. Well, you can't just sign something and say you didn't sign it. But I didn't sign it. We, are, we set up this appointment like a month ago, and, and we've got it all scheduled out. And we'll lose money if we don't do this. So we have to show up and cut those down today. We already couldn't do it yesterday because well, of that damn cat. What's the address that you have? Oh, let's see... Um, Utah Street. Yep, that's right, the You one. need to give me your number. I have no idea. Oh, just just look on your about. caller ID, call man. Th- this shouldn't be such a hassle. We're just trying well, to do our job here. It is a hassle when I didn't when I didn't hire anybody to cut down trees. Stop getting drunk and filling out on, like online forms and stuff. Are you serious? Are you the most insulting person I've ever talked to in my life? Well, at least I'm not cursing at you. You've been cursing at me and, and abusing me and stuff. Because you're telling me you're going to cut down trees in my yard, and I don't know anything about it. I'm, I'm putting, I'm adding What's a, f- name? Can you- well, just a minute, I'm adding a fee onto your account. I'm going to put an extra stupid bitch fee on here because of your attitude. It's going to be twenty oh my God. twenty nine ninety five in addition to the the one thousand six hundred and forty three dollars for the other trees. That's what you get, stupid bitch fee. What you get for using the fucking word, ma'am? Which you're, which you're using? Well, no, no, I'm, I'm not using it. That's me quoting you. That's different. I, I'm just, quote, uh, I'm, I'm, quote, I'm, I'm just quoting your filthy mouth, ma'am. I already, I've told you three times now. It's Royco Tree Service. Can you take it off speaker? It's hard to hear you. Well, I was writing. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
could you say that any more like a bitch? You are unbelievable. Well, you're the one with the attitude. I'm just trying to do my job. Well, you can cancel this contract. I did not sign anything. Oh, no, no. It's, I've it's never signed. heard. I've we're, never heard of Royco Tree Service. We're coming out and we're cutting down your trees. No, you're not. You need to send me a copy of that contract. Oh, that I did not. Sign. Uh, you, you have a copy because uh, it your shows your company here, will be sued it so hard. Shows right here. You clicked on the print button, so you have a copy of it. I do not have a copy. It of came it. from your IP address because your 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 home address is attached to the IP address. We can tell. We have tools, hacker tools. Well, I did not fill it out. I need to call my husband. Can you tell me your name? Why can't you handle things yourself? How come you have to get your husband to do it? Because I don't know anything about this. If he hired you, fine, but I don't think he did. Okay. Well, at this point, I, I'm not sure we want to work for you guys because because of your attitude. I don't think you do. But you know, yes, we, I think you should just cancel that. Well, no, we went ahead and put the, we put the stupid bitch fee on. Nope. It, so so it's okay. We can deal with you. It's fine. No, it's, we're it's, canceling the contract because oh. I've never worked with someone so unprofessional in my life. Well, you signed it's the contract, you are. so we're coming out, we're chopping down the trees, and if you don't pay, then lawsuit time, and she's gone. She's gone. That was kind of dragging on anyway. <laughs> what kind of woman is named Carson? Is that what she said? Her name's Carson? That's weird. Well, I'm happy. At least I got three, <laughs> three people to answer now. Maybe uh, if I call all these numbers back as a you know, as the soccer directory, doing crazy soccer ideas, maybe she'll pick up then too. I can, maybe she'll remember, she'll remember, you're the guy that called about my tree. The number you have reached is not in- Damn it. All right, let's call Jim. You guys remember Jim? My friend, Jim. Uh, he's, <clears throat> let's first see if he's at work real quick. Call and ask. I'm calling from the wrong area code now, so... First office. Is Jim around? May I ask you speaking? Roy? Hold on one second. Okay. She did not... Say much to me. It's Jim. May I help you? Oh, hey, Jim. I I was trying to call you earlier about that whole tree thing. I was just kidding around. I'm actually from the radio station. <laughs> well, you better be glad because I went to my house and I had a 45. Oh yeah, yeah. That doesn't scare me because I'm calling from a radio station. We were never at your oh, house. Great. You've actually been bustling. <laughs> Okay. So, um, yeah, I just need your permission real quick to air this on the radio tomorrow morning. No. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Don't, don't you have no. a sense of humor? No. What? What? Nuh-uh. what why Why no. not? No. No. Why Why can't I? Well, I don't understand. I, 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 I'm saying no. What part of that do you not well, it, understand? It's, it's all in good fun. We do this every day. We, we call up people and we butt slam oh. them. And you know, well, you didn't every, catch me on a good day. And everybody laughs at you, and it'll be fun. It's, it's, you know, it's all for fun. No. And we can play advertisements and make money off of your, your, uh, <laughs> off of no. you running to your house with a gun. It'll be so funny. Everyone will love it. Yeah. No. You're going to be a big star. No. Because you got butt slammed. No. Okay. Well, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it really early, so you'll probably be asleep and you won't hear it. We'll do it on the night shift show. Well, how can you do that when you don't have my permission to do it? Well, we'll just um, edit. Well, l- let me ask you this. Are you a Republican? Well, that's, that's, that's what's wrong with me today. Well, hold I'm, on. I'm an, independent. Are, I'm an independent. I see. Are you a Republican? I vote for people. I vote for people. Oh, do I you, don't vote for parties. Do you, um, do you love children? Well, uh, I love mine. Okay. Can you just say yes or no? No. Fuck. I'm trying to get you to say yes so we can edit the audio and and we can uh you know we can we can change it around and make it look like you said yes when what you, radio station is this uh, hundred point three the gerbil 
<laughs> I've never heard of you. Oh yeah, well it sounds like you don't listen. You're not the type. You're probably not our demographic. You know, you're. You sound like kind of well, grouch, no. grouchy and. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly correct. Should, I, I'm old and and grouchy. Running around with guns and stuff, threatening people. Well, it's not because I want to. Oh, of course. Yeah, you, know, you were totally forced to run to your house with a gun because a, well, a workman was in your yard. I would have shot them too. <laughs> Uh, wow. Hey, I uh, hope 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 you guys do well, but and and great, but uh, I just that that <laughs> okay. Uh, that that's <laughs> you, you can be the you can be the next George Zimmerman. Don't you want that? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. Well, um, all right. I just need you to confirm. Are you confirming that you do not want us to play this call tomorrow morning? I'm very much confirmed. Oh, oh, I just need a yes or a no. Do you not want us to play it? Do I not want you to play yeah, it? Yeah, yes or no. Well, if you say I don't want you to play it, then I would say yes, I don't want you to play it. Oh, you would say what? I'm sorry. You would say... <laughs> See, you're trying to sit there. You people in the media, I I do not want you to play it. What part of that do you not oh, understand? I can no, I don't want you to play it. I can take the word not out, and it'll be, I do want you to play it. So that's perfect. We're going to play it on the air tomorrow. Thank you so much, sir, Well, for letting us butt slam you. Okay, whatever. Well, have a nice day. I'm, I'm so sorry about the inconvenience today. Well, to a certain extent, it hadn't been an inconvenience. And to a certain extent, I have enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, me too. It's been fun. uh, You folks are crazy. Do you know what the opposite of no is? On? No. No, the opposite. Well, the opposite of no would be on. N-O-O-N. On. That's incorrect. Really? I had no clue. Would that be more like an anagram or something? Well, it's it's the opposite, you know. You turn it around, opposite. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you were uneducated. I'm, I'll, I'll leave you alone now. Then, okay, it, it's it's okay. I got the thing that says I do want you to play our, this call. So it's all it's all in the up and up legally. Well, whatever you think. Okay. Well, have a nice day, Jim. You too. Bye bye. Butt slam. <laughs> I'm so happy I called Ooh. him back. Thanks for, thanks for all the weird ideas in the chat room, everyone. That was fun. We've got ten minutes left before I have to quit. Because stupid XYZ is going to start his show. So you can blame XYZ for that. Probably not going to get another person to answer, but I'll try. I'm going to have to do this soccer list. Like the whole soccer list sometime. I'm sure you guys can give me some crazy soccer list ideas. Hello, Ken? Yes? Oh, hey, Ken. It's Roy from Royco Tree Service. We're um, we're taking the trees down in your yard today. And I just had a question because a cat ran up in one of the trees. And um, we're, we're not sure uh, if, if we can go ahead and cut that one down with the cat in it. Um, <laughs> I, you, uh, all right. I need to talk to my ex-wife. I'm, you're at 15 North Edgewood. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we're cutting down all the trees today. Okay, well, you need to talk to my ex-wife, not me. Oh, why? Uh, uh, it's got your phone. your name on this, this work order here. My name is on it? Yeah, it says Ken, and it says you, you ordered her, her all of her trees to be cut down today. It says it says here on the order form that it's a it's a surprise for the wife, and to do it at this time because she won't be home. <laughs> okay, is this some kind of joke? Uh, I hope not. It better not be because we haven't been paid yet, and we definitely need to get paid for this. Well, I didn't authorize anything. I don't own the house, and so if you're over there doing anything, you're trespassing. No, uh, we got a contract work order thing here and we've been here for the past hour cut, by, cutting down all these trees not authorized by me 
So she got the house and the divorce. What did you get? That's none of your business. Well, I, I, look, I didn't authorize anything. I don't know why you're calling me or how you got my number. I well, hope you're not cutting down trees there because you'll have a lawsuit. But I didn't authorize anything. You'll have a lawsuit because it's got your name and your signature, so you better pay us for this. You know, it we, certainly we, doesn't we, have my signature on it. <laughs> well, it, it has a signature here. It says Ken. So, you know, and he, he's gone. He hung up. Poor guy lost the house. Didn't want to talk about the rest of it for some reason. I don't know why. Hello? Hello, Sam? Uh, no, can I take a message? Oh, is Sam available? I'm calling from Roy Co. Tree Service. Uh, hold on for a second. Let me see if I can find him. Okay. Uh, I can take a message if he's not around right now. Oh, is this uh, is this his partner? What do you want? Well, we're we're cutting down the trees in his yard today, and um, I'm with the Royco Tree Service. And uh, now you you don't have to touch any of those trees in at his house. Well, no, we've already started. We've cut down one. We're working on another, and this. Oh, he's okay. Never mind. He's gone. <laughs> I love how you refused to answer the whole partner question for some reason. Don't know why. I think uh, I think that was a trigger word. He's probably thinking, "Well, I never." That's that's what he was thinking. Hello. Hello, Justin. Yes. Oh, hey, it's uh, Roy from Royco Tree Service. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. We're just um, we're chopping down those trees today on your your uh, in your on your property, and um, there was a problem with one of them. That a cat ran up there. We're just trying to figure figure out if it was your cat or just like a neighbor cat, and we can just not worry about it. Uh, definitely not our cat because we don't have one. What trees are you cutting down? Uh, all of them on here on Twenty Fourth Street. Okay. You shouldn't be cutting down anything on 24th Street. Oh, yeah. it's uh, We got a... Someone filled out the form online. It, well, I mean, it says you filled out the form online to cut down all the trees in the yard. Um, you know, all the way down to the stumps. No. So we've we've started already. And okay, that's not happening. Please do not do anything further. Well, we've already started. I did not... I did not... Okay, I did not fill out any form. I have not authorized anyone to touch any trees except a different tree service who was taking care of one particular tree, not with cutting, but with some me- medicine. Oh, no, we're cutting so down do not- everything. We, we've, okay. we've already got two of them down. Okay, that better not be the case because that would be an expensive mistake on your part if that's true. Oh, but more on your part. Whatever you're doing. We, we charge $500 per tree, so uh, you, you definitely need, matter. You need to pay us for this because it it's your contract no. and your signature and everything. Okay, but, I would love to see the signature because I have not signed anything. Do, do you have a yellow cat? I have no cat. Okay, that's good because we were worried about this one, but I guess just a neighbor cat, so that's their problem. We'll go ahead and start working on that one. Okay, just continue cutting any tree there. If you cut anything else at this point, that would be a, a big mistake. Thank well, you. Well, we we sir, we um we have a contract here. We can't just. Listen, okay. How do I know he's not a prank caller trying to get us to stop doing our work? Can't just discontinue my my work. What the hell? <laughs> let me let me call him right back. Hi, you reached the voicemail for Justin. Nah, little, 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 little. Okay. Guess what, everyone? It's a. Uh, it's about that time where I'm going to quit. Uh, let me take a look at something. Let's see if XYZ is on the air yet. Or, actually, no. Why, why even bother? Well, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm not going to stay on if he's not. I, I'm, I'm tired. I need to go take my mid-morning nap. Sleep off some, some more of this NyQuil. I guess. 
Why, hello everyone. It's pre recorded, Brad. You're listening to pre recorded stuff instead of live show stuff. And that's, of course, why you heard the harp sound, which we always use to signify switching from a live show to a pre recorded show. So you guys know. I just went to YouTube to try and find flashback music to use for a transition, and that's the best one I can find. I really wanted to use this one from Arthur, like, uh. You guys remember that from Arthur, the TV show, right? The PBS TV show? Sadly, I do. Anyway, now that I'm done talking about transition noises that I find on YouTube, it's time to play some voicemails. Let's see what uh, Brad the producer has to say. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Brad. Yep. The producer. As your producer, I just got a call from somebody named Rothschild. Um, it was in regards to, you've been talking about the pending robot vehicle takeover. Yep. Uh, at first I thought you were just being silly, but I'm oh, starting no. to think that maybe you weren't joking around. Uh, the Mr. Rothschild that called me, uh, he said that we need to cease and desist all discussion uh, over the air of pending robot car takeovers. Yeah, I knew uh, this would happen. Being butt slammed if we don't. Uh, so please, you know... Some people just can't handle the truth, apparently. Maybe just tone it down a little bit. Uh, I don't want to be butt slammed again. I mean, my mother still isn't speaking to me after the last time. Okay. Uh, otherwise, no more That's show fine. notes for this week. Okay, bye. Thanks, Brad, the producer. And that was actually from four weeks ago. That wasn't last week, so I've probably got three more messages in here of him yelling at me. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to tone it down a little bit with all that truth I'm telling. You're lucky I'm not a loose cannon, wacky morning DJ type, or you'd be in trouble. Hey, Brad, I was just calling uh, Re, the guy who called in asking why the phone repeats something back to you when the person you're talking to hangs up. Thank God that this has been driving me crazy. And as much as I want to hear about all this, I don't know if I'm going to play your entire three-minute voicemail. Holy crap, three minutes. Um, I think I know what's happening. Um, All right. Uh, basically, it's magic, uh, right? It's magic. I mean, like you have the, okay, you have this concept in uh, electrical engineering called uh, of transmission lines, where you put in a signal at one end, and then some uh, time later, the signal comes out the other end. Yep. And the okay. transmission line has an input and output impedance, um, which is basically about how much power goes in or out. I and feel like. I feel like I'm I'm having one of those dreams where I'm back in school and I'm having to learn things. Have something putting power into the system. The most efficient way to put power in is to have your device putting power in at the same impedance as the transmission line, and then at the output, the same thing is true. So what happens is, if you you know you have a speaker on the output of the transmission line, that's your phone handset, um, and the the speaker has some impedance and it's engineered to match the impedance of the phone line so when you're talking the signal goes out of the transmission line and and then out of the speaker and it's perfectly you guys all get it right it makes sense uh converted into sound and there's no more signal after that because it's all being transmitted into sound but if uh the person hangs up then all of a sudden the um impedance changes from the proper engineered impedance of the changes to uh i guess what would be the holy fuck um, infinite change it, of infinite, impedance, infinite everyone. Zero impedance. I'm not sure. Um, it's weird about that, but um, it changes impedance so it's not matched anymore. One minute so left. Some of the energy is reflected back down the line, and that's um, the same as if they had said something into their phone. It, that's what it looks like. So it's transmitted back to you, and you hear it. And this um, this sounds this, like Harry Potter. I'm this sorry. Property of copper lines is actually used. You might know a little bit about this, Brad. It's used by I'm old. Um, phone line text to locate a break in the line. They can plug in one of their little magic boxes. They ought to put a tracer on the line. Pulse into the line and I then sell tracers. In, um, and if there's a break in the line, the pulse will come, will be bounced back, and then you can figure out how far along the line that break is based on the time it took to do that, and then you can go cut it out and witch, witch. slice it back together. So um, that's why the echoing thing happens. and. Uh, 14, it's, it's all very 15, technical and 12, counterintuitive. Um, 11, 10, but that, 9, that's kind of the 8, 7, jargon way 6, of explaining why it happens. 5, um, okay, thanks, Brad. Four. Bye. Okay, there you go. Now everybody knows exactly why a phone will not hang up when you prank call someone and they hang up on you and then they pick back up and you're still there. Now everyone knows exactly why that happens. It's just completely clear in your mind. 
makes perfect sense. The impedance changes, you see? It changes. I think basically what that all means is that holy crap, why are we all still using landlines at all for anything? Because they still work the same way they worked like, you know, 50 years ago. It's all based on this ganky system of just putting voltages through lines to make your phone ring. But I guess fortunately for me, it makes some prank calls a little bit funnier at the very end when they pick up and they think they're talking to someone else and it's actually me. And I guess it's going to be a little sad when that disappears someday and stops working. Hi, Brad. It's Nico. Hey there. Um, I just wanted to say, woo woo! Uh, the Blue Jays won, uh, and wow. they're kicking some Who gives ass. A shit? We've got one team for all, all of Canada, and they're doing some great stuff. Never even heard anyway, of the Blue Jays. Uh, talk to you later. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, Miko. Yeah, I probably don't play this on the show. <laughs> what? Bye. <laughs> You're calling the voicemail line to tell me not to play your voicemail on the show? What the hell? And I'm sorry, I'm really excited about the Blue Jays, or the Bluebirds, or... What was that you said again? I've just been sick all weekend, so I'm grouchy, okay? That's all it is. Yay, Blue Hawks. Hey, Brad, it's Eddie at the Cyber Cafe here in Binghamton. Oh, hey, Eddie. New York. There used Eddie's to be apparently calling from the 1990s. A Phone Losers of America sticker on the toilet paper dispenser in the bathroom. Yep, I wonder who put that there. Did the bathroom, repainted it, removed the dispenser, Ugh. and now there's no sticker. Bastards. In the same cafe, there's a payphone. It broke. They didn't fix the payphone. They just put up a sign. It said, this phone will never work again. Aww. If that's not evidence of a conspiracy against the phone losers of America... I know. I don't know what is. Damn those cyber cafes. They're always trying to hold the PLA down. RB Jasper Flax. Hey, Listen, how convenient. Me. You did a list for us on this show, and I just happened to be playing your voicemail from three weeks ago. for uh, a uh, paid subscriber benefit that could go along with the hobo shows or maybe be something else that you do every now and then. And What about if you did, like, a, a mystery shot through one of your most famous... <sighs> I swear, I didn't do that. Like, uh, the, the, the audio cut out. Let's try and listen to that again. What about if you did, like, a mystery shot through one of your most famous prank, prank calls? Like, you know, you stop it every now and then, commentary of, you know, what led you to do this, or what led you to say this certain thing, or, or just, I don't know, shit like that. I, I just think that'd be cool to get, like, a fan's perspective as to what they were thinking when they heard the call, and, and what was hilarious about it to them, I and, see. Uh, things like that. So anyway, just throwing that out there, that might be a cool way to get some people's ears on really old but cool prank calls well, that's a good anyway, idea peace I think I see what you're saying uh, the Jerky Boys they did that a few years back he, he made his own podcast where all he did was play old pranks that he did back in the early 90s and he talked about them talked about the history of them and the inspiration and that kind of thing yeah that could be fun I'll copy the Jerky Boys Harvey it's Galen hello you need to call more people with elect- election season coming to a close you need to call more people and just demand that they get out there and vote. Oh, You're like, we're yeah. going to send Donald Trump to your house. Hillary Clinton's going to show up. We're going to drop off uh, Governor, whatever his name is, independent dude with yeah. a helicopter. That guy. You need to get your lazy ass up and vote. Are you fat? Why are you laying around all day? You're not registering. That would be fun. I don't know why it strikes me as funny. Maybe you won't find yeah, it funny. it could be a good one. Maybe no one finds it funny. I'm a weirdo. No, I actually think that could be fun. Like, maybe, uh, I mean, the election's tomorrow, I guess, right? So I'm a little late on that. But maybe on the next show, I could just start calling up people and asking them why they didn't vote. And I bet you I'll get a bunch of people that didn't vote. And they'll be like, oh, it's none of your business. Call them from the local government. Or I could call businesses from the corporate office and say, as a Starbucks employee, you are required to vote. So you're fired. That's what I'll do. No, in fact, I'll say in the words of President Donald Trump, you're fired. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hey, Brad, it's Olga. Hey, Olga. I have a joke for you. Holy crap. For once. Oh, my God. Let me turn on my soundboard. And here's the joke. Why couldn't the cordless phone drink coffee? I don't know. Why couldn't the cordless phone drink coffee? Because it became wired. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, bye. I love how you sounded like you are about to crack yourself up with that one, Olga. You must have really thought that one was funny. But I guess I did too. That was a good one. Oh, and look, here's another message from her. Usually I just throw away double messages like this, but I guess I'll play this one. 
since hey, it's Brad, Olga. It's Olga again. Um, I just realized something. So whenever you get these voicemails, you get a readout pretty much of what they say in, in Google, Google Voice. voice. Don't, Don't you like, like it? Tells, tells you exactly what, what exactly the, the message is saying. saying cancer, 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 Texas, 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 Texas and all stuff. that stuff. But, but I just... Uh, okay, I'll stop. Sorry. I just realized that all my jokes, y- you can already read the punchline. Yeah. Like, I try right not away. to read ahead, but it's hard not to sometimes. Hey, you can read it... And, and and then there's like, I keep saying like, uh, there's no point to the joke, because it's not a surprise. Oh, it's and it's, you already know you what know, it is. I'm a slow oh, well. I'm a slow reader, Olga, so it's okay. Fuck that shit. So funny. Okay, bye. No, I really do try not to read ahead, but then on the other hand, I also kind of skim through the the text part of some of them to see if it's a voicemail I want to play or if it's just someone trolling the show. Like for example, this voicemail from 13 hours ago that just says hematology, hematology. I'm so smart, hematology. See, I don't have to play that. I can just hit the delete button. But now that I've said it, I, I have to play it. I want to hear what this sounds like. Hematology, hematology. I'm so smart, hematology. Hematology, don't you know? I'm yeah, so just, smart, just hematology. It goes on for a while. That's the kind of stuff I usually delete. And sometimes I accidentally sound psychic when I'm listening to the voicemails and I respond to things before they say it. I try not to do that, but it does happen sometimes, and hopefully you guys don't notice when it does. But I swear, Olga, I did not know the punchline to that joke you just told me, because I saw that it was a joke and I stopped reading. So it's still a surprise. I could ruin the surprise, but I don't. So don't worry, it's okay. The surprise isn't ruined on me, and it's definitely not ruined for the listeners. Let's catch up with Corbin Guy, and then uh, end the show. Ah, uh, dear Brad, day three, road journal. Okay, oh, that's great. so woke up in a Walmart. Apparently the Snowplow show is now Corbin Guy's road journal. Port, Walmart, Walport, parking lot, and drove about five, six hundred miles in a huge loop. Currently sitting at a rest station outside of Portland, gearing to go back to Tillamook. Or That's go to great. that hotel where they filmed The Shining. That's yeah, great. Something like that tomorrow. Yep. Anywho, Good time. Uh, yeah, apparently I, I heard the last show. Good show, too. Uh, Thanks, boy, Corbin. I heard myself. My phone really is a piece of shit, but that's yeah. what you get for 20 bucks. It's and all right that guy today. was singing the Shifty Pop song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. It would be awesome if he could uh, um, just, you know, karaoke along. Yeah, I'd like to hear that, so... Hello, hello, people. So you want to give Brad some money Please. with the premise that he would give it to me, but he's really going to keep it, okay? Yep. So, so do that. Send him money. Yep. And don't forget to like, I'll totally send it to Corbin guy. Sign up and uh, spread the news about the PLA. All right. Have a good day. Bye. What a good ending voicemail. Corbin guy telling everyone to support the show by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus for five bucks a month. You get extra shows every week. I've been pretty good about keeping up with those hobo sods so far. We're up to six episodes now. Hobo sods are kind of like mini episodes of the snowplow show. They last anywhere from five to 20 minutes. And on the most recent one, I called up a bunch of employees uh, of various stores inside of a mall and try to convince them that the mall was haunted, you know, for Halloween. And maybe they believed me, maybe they didn't. The only way to find out is to become a subscriber and listen to the hobo sods. It's the best scam I've ever come up with. And with that being said, I'd like all of you to open your hymn books to page 261. Let's all sing our praise to the great glorious cacti with Reefer Badness's Go Cup song. No, I don't go to the Go Cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go cups out the window because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic and I drink water. I don't have a cup. Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles. No, I don't go to the go cup places and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go cups out the window because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? Do you know who lives next to me? Andy Anderson. Oh, shit. He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. I'm going to give him this phone number and ask. I think you have ADD. 
No, I don't drink coffee, I don't even have a cup I drink bottled water so you need to back your facts up I'm a diabetic, need to watch my sugar count Coffee's not a beverage I drink when I'm driving about I've never dropped litter in my whole damn life If you see me sat in Starbucks, I'm just here to use the Wi-Fi I didn't see no secret camera hidden in the cacti Andy Anderson is gonna fuck you up, wise guy I don't drink coffee, it's not my drink of choice I order spring water when I'm drinking with the boys Caffeine is mean to me, there's nothing to enjoy Say your name again? Void? I'm recording this call on my answering machine I assure you that it's working though you didn't hear a beep I'm gonna take this tape and fucking march it down the street Knock on Andy's door and get it heard by the chief of Phoenix please No, I don't go to the go-cup place And I don't go out to the cop And I don't throw the go-cup out the window Because I don't have any You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic and I drink water I don't have a cup Bottles of water is what I do. You can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? No, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic, and I drink water. I don't have a cup. Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup place, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? Do you know who lives next to me? Andy Anderson. Oh, shit. He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. I'm going to give him this phone number and ask. I think you have ADD. I bet, you're, I bet you're the most annoying neighbor ever, like every little thing that happens to you. I'm going to get the deputy. He lives next door to me. We're good friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that hurts. Diabetic and I drink water. Yeah. We've got our cacti is on you. That's our new slogan. I do want you to play it.